In the units column, we need to look up the price from this lookup table, bring it back. But then from the quantity column, we have to look up the discount. 0% if you have 0 up to 24. 25 up to 49, you get 15% discount. Well, we first have to do VLOOKUP to look up the price. So in cell E5 equals VL, I see VLOOKUP. Highlighted in blue, I hit TAB. Lookup value, well, what are we looking up? As a relative cell reference, whatever the product ID is in this column. Comma, the table, that's the lookup table. The first column always has a unique list of items. Subsequent columns have things we're trying to go and get and bring back to the cell. Now I'm copying this down, so I need to hit the F4 key to lock it. Those dollar signs will prevent that orange range from moving as we copy our formula down. The blue reference, of course, will politely move as I copy the formula down. Comma, column index number. Well, VLOOKUP doesn't know which one of the columns has the thing I want to go and get and bring back to the cell. So you have to count on your fingers. One, two. The second column has the thing I want VLOOKUP to go and get. So you simply type the number two, comma. And why is VLOOKUP so amazing? Because it gives us two options, approximate match or exact match lookup. That means VLOOKUP can do two different types of lookup. Well, if we're looking up a product ID, those characters, those characters, and trying to find a match in the first column, we want exact match. Now, true or false, those are the signal to VLOOKUP for which type of lookup to use. So you can down arrow tab to put a false in. But true and false have number equivalents in Excel. False is 0, true is 1. So I'm putting a 0, close parentheses. Now I Control Enter, because I want to put the formula in the cell and keep the cell selected. Then I'm going to point to the Fill Handle in the lower right-hand corner. And when I hover my Selection cursor over, I see my crosshair or Angry Rabbit. I can double click and send it down. That copies the formula all the way down until it sees an empty cell, and it stops. Now be sure and go to the last cell and hit F2. You need to verify that the cell references are pointing in the correct location, and they are. Now that's not what we want. Now we need to look up the discount. Now the first record sold 80, and look at that. Someone misspelled that. It should be, well, and that somebody was me. I misspelled it, Enter. This record sold 80. So what's the discount? Well, 80 is between 75 all the way up to, but not including 125. So that means this transaction gets 30 pennies off for every $1. Now, we could look this up and bring it back and then do 1 minus in the formula, because we need 70 pennies times this price. But instead, I'm going to create a second column equals 1 minus. And now I'm going to left arrow to get my relative cell reference. That's the complement. As we copy it down, Control Enter, double click and send it down. 85 pennies you pay for every $1 of price, 75 pennies, and so on. That's what we can multiply directly times that price. So I click in the top cell, and when I hit the F2 key, it puts it in edit mode and conveniently puts the cursor at the end. Now I multiply VL tab. The lookup value here is now quantity as a relative cell reference, comma. The table, there's three columns. The first column has the unique list. And in our case, since we're going to do approximate match, the column has to be sorted. Now the first column is the lower limit of each category. And VLOOKUP for the second one here, when we use the last argument approximate, it will know to take that 80 and race through until it bumps into the first bigger one and then jump back. That's how it knows to get that row right there. Now we need to lock this, so I hit F4, comma. The column index number, remember, count on your fingers. One, two, three. The third column has the thing I want to go and get and bring back to the cell. So I have to tell VLOOKUP, three, comma. 
Now, we're doing approximate match, which means it's sorted, it races through, bumps into the first one bigger, and jumps back. But guess what? That's the default. So in the formula, you can either type a comma, and then put true, a comma, then type 1. But guess what? Backspace. If you completely leave that argument out, VLOOKUP is programmed to use it as the default. So by not putting anything there, it will do approximate match. Close parentheses, Control Enter, double click and send it down. Be sure to go to the last cell and hit F2. There we go. We have looked up some bell, got the price, looked up 246, and found the very last cost equivalent, 52.75 pennies. Now, if you want to do something dangerous down here to prove to yourself that we got the right price and cost equivalent, watch this. We're going to highlight just the second VLOOKUP and the F9 key. If I hit F9, that evaluates that part of the formula. Now, be sure to Control Z. Now, let's do it to the first part. When I hit F9, it better give me $29.95. And sure enough, it does. Control Z. Now, the last problem is if we have subsequent columns where we're going to use unit price, and our requirement is that we round to the penny, we do not want those extraneous pennies. So I come to the top, F2. And now I need to use the round function on that whole calculation. Round. I see it highlighted in blue. I hit Tab. That whole number argument is just some formula element delivering a number to round. Very carefully, I come to the end. With my I-beam cursor, I'm going to click. Notice the screen tip says number, comma. Number of digits, round is asking you, which position do you want me to round to? Counting from the decimal to the right. One, two, that's the penny position. So I simply put a two there. Close parentheses. And that's our formula for discounted price. Control Enter. Double click and send it down. Be sure to go to the last cell and hit the F2 key. If you like what you see, click that subscribe button and the bell icon. All right, that was a lot of fun with two different VLOOKUPs, exact and approximate, and then the round function to give us discounted price. All right, we'll see you next video.